Big Weather's Big Recipes, sponsored by First Flight Federal Credit Union. Hey guys, it's Big Weather with bah, 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 another edition of Big Recipes. And our behind the scenes cooking continues with the family at ABC 11. We've heard from Diane Wilson and Elena Athens next week, meteorologist Steve Stewart. This week, the recipe comes from one of our digital journalists. Our schedules weren't able to sync and get together to make it together, so she emailed me her family recipe. That journalist is Maggie Green, and she's one of our digital journalists. You may not know the name, but you've probably read some of her articles on abc11.com. And right now, we're wrapping up Passover, and Maggie's Jewish. And, you know, growing up in Iowa, one of my best friends was named Dana Jacobson, and she was Jewish, and her family introduced me to all kinds of great Jewish traditions and recipes. So Maggie Maggie this week for Passover has passed along her recipe for matzo ball soup. First thing we're going to do is put two eggs in a bowl while my dog is barking. There we go. Next, one quarter cup of oil. Maggie says you don't have to whip these, you just kind of fold it and mix it all together. So that's what we'll do. Just until combined. That looks pretty good. Then we're adding this. She insists on straights or streets. I don't know how to say it, matzo ball mix because she likes the spices of it. If you can't find it, Manischewitz works well, but she says her family likes this better. So we're gonna add one packet to the bowl. It smells good. And then her family likes to add one teaspoon of nutmeg. To this we add a teaspoon of nutmeg. Now I've already kind of started mixing. You're supposed to mix it up. Get it all nice and moist. And then this goes in the fridge for about 20 minutes. We'll cover it. We'll let it go in the fridge and we'll start our vegetable chopping. For our veg, uh, we're gonna chop four carrots, five stalks of celery, and she says it's not traditionally in her recipe, but she adds it sometimes, and I like it, so we're gonna add about a half an onion. Uh, and this is the greatest gift my wife got me. We're gonna mandolin all these. Let's get them chopped. There you go, uniformly sliced, ready to go. Let's move over to the stove and start making our broth. All right. Maggie's recipe calls for eight ounces of chicken broth. We are going to use 14 ounces because that's in this whole can. She also calls for three cups of water, which would make for a total of 32 ounces. So because we use that whole can, we're gonna use about two and a quarter cups. water and that should keep the liquid correct. There we go. Next, we're gonna add the spices. Maggie says her family goes just kind of by flavor, but she's made some guesses on the amounts, so we'll add if we need to. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm gonna do about a half a teaspoon of thyme. You could do a full if you want. But we're gonna go half for now. About a teaspoon of oregano. I'm gonna go about a half, maybe a little more teaspoon of dill. And about a teaspoon of black pepper. It's already smelling delicious. Give it a nice stir. Need to bring this to boil. Nice rolling boil, so we're going to add our veg. Messily, I'll go back and clean up all the chunks in a sec.
Give that a stir. We're gonna bring that back to a boil. All right, that's been sitting in the fridge for about 20 minutes. We are gonna roll these into little balls. Uh, she said about the size of a walnut or less. And she said to pack them really nice because if you have cracks, they will fall apart. So I don't see any cracks in that one. We're just gonna set it aside and keep going. She said this should make about 10 of them. All right, we're done with our 10. If you wanna make them exact, you would measure the bowl on a scale and then put all your ingredients in and you'd know how much the ingredients weighed and then you divide by 10, which is pretty easy to do. But I just eyeballed it, 10 matzo balls, about the size of walnuts. Let's move these back to the stove. It's boiling, so we're gonna knock it down to medium low. Now, uh, Maggie, we'll give it one stir too, just kind of stir in those spices. Now, Maggie said, don't plop the balls into the soup. Just kind of roll them down the side and let them slowly go in or they'll stick. You don't want them to sink to the bottom, so that's what we'll do. We'll put that in there and just kind of let it slide down, too. That one I kind of plopped. All right, well. I guess you could lower these with a spoon, too, if you really want to be careful. But over the years, I've got asbestos fingers. So we'll just lower those in. Okay. Now we cover. Leave it on medium low and let this thing go for 30 minutes. All right, so it's been about 30 minutes. Check out that. They've gone from walnut size to a lot bigger. I see why we put them around the edges because they really expand and absorb. We're gonna take those out and dish them up and give it a try. There we go. Oh, it smells amazing. I will tell you, I did put a little kosher salt in it. Uh, you can add that at the end. I used low sodium broth and um, I sprinkled it with a little bit of crushed parsley. So that gives it kind of a green thing too. I broke up one of the matzo balls. I have a full one in there. We've got a partial, so let's give it a taste. It's probably super hot. Mmm. That is so good. It's almost like a it's almost like a chewy noodle or like if you put a cracker in there and you let it sit for a long time and it gets all absorbed all the flavors i love the vegetables this is a great soup maggie said her family uses it as an appetizer if you want to make it a full meal add some chicken to it uh, and then you've got a chicken soup she said people will put egg noodles in too but she thinks the matzah is just uh, enough starch so she doesn't really add extra noodles but i'll tell you it'd be good with noodles in there too Matzo ball soup to wrap up Passover. Of course, you gotta have a little Manischewitz uh, grape juice there as well. As for me, mm. that food is so good.